Hello guys and welcome to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Logan. This is a movie that I've been asking Denise to watch for such a long time long time. I myself <laughs> only watched it once in theaters when it came out and it's been a minute and we've been watching a few movies that Denise herself has recommended that I hadn't watched like Signs and The Sixth Sense and we had a blast with those but today's <laughs> my birthday so yes. it's only fair <laughs> that this time I get to pick a movie that she hasn't watched. So I've been asking her and begging her to watch Logan and today's the day. So thank you guys for joining us in this and I'll let her take up the stand and explain. <laughs> why she hasn't watched this yet. I'm a huge fan of the OG X-Men movies, even the cinematic masterpiece that is The Last Stand. And um, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I remember uh, that the time that this came out, uh, I was in school, things were super busy. And I remember watching the trailer and I was like, wow, this, this movie takes itself very seriously. I remember it was like Johnny Cash's song playing, I think, mm, during the yeah, trailer. Yeah, it's hurt. Yeah. Um, yeah, I felt like it was so disjointed from the usual, a bit more schlocky vibe from the original X-Men movies. And I didn't really associate the seriousness with superhero movies at the time. Don't come for me. This is my redemption arc. <laughs> I've heard really good things about it he's been raving about this and if he raves i trust so here we are <laughs> i'm super pumped to watch logan well this one is uh definitely different than the rest of the x-men movies i think you're in for a ride i'm excited to re-watch this and catch things that i maybe missed uh, i remember some of the biggest you know the bigger moments in this movie but not necessarily all the nuances and you know it's been years so i'm excited to go back into this journey i think you are gonna enjoy it especially with the things that we've been watching more recently and i think you're gonna like it i think i hope that you like it and um i mean it is r-rated and i know that Ooh. you like some, uh, oh, see, some good nah. action so <laughs> listen when you have a character like logan you, you have to be r-rated if you guys want to catch the full-length reaction that's going to be available on our patreon and if you want to catch these reactions early hit the join button and become a member of our youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys after the movie <laughs> oh. holy shit he looks he doesn't look too hot <laughs> Uh, guys. <laughs> uh, you know, this is the least. No one's gonna pay to ride. <laughs> what? Oh, you guys are. Andale, pues. Andale, pues. Head in the chest, too. Jesus. Yeah, I can't wait to see their faces. They're gonna be wondering why the hell is this not working? What's happening? Uh, guys. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> oh. Take them out. Oh. 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 Jesus. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Get the No. <laughs> Not the car! He'd rather get shot than they hit the car. Damn, dude! Ah. Wolverine, please? Oh, there he is! Oh! <laughs> Not the car! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to your first experience oh <laughs> with the R rated situation. Oh my it's god. Great. We shove the claws like right up in here. Oh my god. Oh, that was great though. Seeing him so pissed and like go full Wolverine. The action was oh, shot so so good. Oh, the way the camera was shaking with every yeah, impact. Yeah, with that's, the first punch, like when it kind of tilts with him, that was so good. You feel that it was visceral. Like you feel the violence that like lives within him. You know, so much better when it's R-rated though. When a, with a character like Wolverine, yes, yes, I agree. Walk between the ice caps, pornographers, poison water, mutants—it's all connected. So he works as a chauffeur, huh? You can already tell the level up in cinematography alone, yes. just the way everything is composed and the close-ups of his face. Wolverine. I'm in trouble! You're the only one that could help! Get the f away from me! She's saying, what happened to you? What are you hiding from? She seems pretty desperate, man.
Oh, that can't be good. Ooh. Oh. Metal hand. Okay. <laughs> the Wolverine. And he's a junkie now. <clears throat> to you. I love his attitude <laughs> towards everybody. Some friends of mine called told me they found three dead cholos in a pullout on. One was missing a hand, another one a leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the escape tiger or Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger. Uh, one of them can drive. One being fictional, the other one extinct. <laughs> <laughs> she found you yet, yeah. Gabriella? I'm not looking for you, Wolvie. Wolvie. I don't know any Gabriella, so get the fuck out of my car. Oh. I love him. He's like, oh, so offended. <laughs> I know. What do you want? A little cooperation. Well, you definitely knocked on the right door there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Logan is known for his cooperation. Always, always glad to collaborate. <laughs> yes. Great team worker, for sure. I know I said June, but I need the vote now. What if I could put together 45,000 cash right now? Damn, he needs that money rough. Yeah. Damn, look at his eyes. Is this like way into the future? Yeah, a couple like of way, years. Way? Yeah, I feel like uh, it's 2029. So it's been a minute. He's aged a lot, man. He doesn't. <coughs> Damn, this is not the Wolverine I remember. a very different tone from the other movies yes. like they make that very clear immediately dude i'm loving this so far i'm so happy to hear that this looks so good he's having a bad day they're all bad days I knew these six hours ago uh. your turn i've had a rough night wow poor you he's had enough <laughs> Both of them are going through it right now. Yeah. Last night he's communicating with someone. I thought that tank was supposed to act as a barrier. Miss Muffet. Wait. Yeah. Make way, sir. I said make way. The new Chisalupa from Taco Bell. Get it with chicken. Ah, <sighs> this is so rough, man. Dude, what the hell? Why is everyone in such bad shape? You're the man who puts me to sleep. We both could use some sleep. No! 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 Ah. <sighs> what are you doing to me? Charles. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm telling you. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Damn. Holy shit. Goes to show how powerful he is. Straight into the heart. Oh my god. It's like they can breathe again. Damn, it affected him all the way there, dude. Oh. How long have I been here? It breaks your heart. Fuck, dude. This is no way to live, man. The shots, no, the seizures, the pills keep them from happening. Got it. There you go. That's what it was. I'm safe. Fuck off, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Always know who you are. It's just sometimes I don't recognize you. Take the pills. Oh, man. It's an inter interesting pair, huh? Yeah. These two. I know a damn speciation when I see one. What? New mutant, a young one. It's too bad you're not in that business anymore. Hmm. Keep him mute and safe. I'm waiting for you at the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty was a long time ago, Charles. A long time. Yeah. That reference, though. Yeah. There's been a new one born in 25 years. Not anywhere. What? Now they're going extinct. Holy crap, dude. What a disappointment you are. Oh. <laughs> What did you do? Why are we here? No one should live like this, drugged in a fucking tank. For your own good. No, no. He has no idea of what's going on. Wow. Okay, wait. So there's a lot yeah. to unpack here. So no mutants born in 25 years? No X-Men. 
they're the yeah. they're the only ones that stuck together. Charles is having seizures that incapacitate. Uh, Fuck, dude. And all the references what to previous films just make this feel even, you know, yeah. even more distant than it already is. Is he not healing right because he's old now? It seems like he's not healing right. He looks uh, rough as well. Yeah. Would it be considered nagging if I was to repeat my previous observation that the dose is too low to suppress the seizures? They've got to protect themselves too. Yeah. That seizure barely a minute. It felt a lot longer than a minute. You're saving to buy a sun seeker. Sun is the key word. I hardly see myself cowering below decks like Nosferatu. <laughs> Nosferatu. Found this in your pocket. Adamantium. Ooh. If you are planning to blow your brains out, could you wait till you're out on the high seas? I just mop these floors. I don't need this shit. I mean, if he's got it, he's thinking about it, right? Yeah. Damn. The caretaker fatigue. I hear you at night, you're not sleeping. You don't want to talk about that. Or the booze you're drinking. Or the pus you're wiping away from your knuckles. Yeah. There you go. Stay out of my shit. Something's happening to you, Logan. On the inside, you're sick. I can smell it. Loving the performance so far. That scene was great. Holy shit. The performances are fantastic. Damn, dude. Boobies! <laughs> there you go. A nice little there smile. <laughs> that makes him happy. Just show more boobies, man. Yeah, That's the way go. to go. That's how you cheer up a dude. <laughs> Creepy kid being creepy. <laughs> All she has to do is start singing now. I know, Very sing a tune. lullaby. I was thinking the same thing. That's fucking funny. There are men after us. We need to get out of here. Cross to Canada. Anyone can do that job. I'll give you $50,000. Damn. People after you, they're on my ass now. Silence. Yeah. We're posted. He was trying to get that target off his back. Yeah. Look, here, take this. It's $20,000. Take us to this address. You can see how desperate she is. Yeah. I can't just leave to North Dakota. We have to be there Friday. Or what? Or we miss our chance to cross. You have to, please. Come on, man. Look at her. She's desperate. It's giving me uh, Last of Us vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very similar in story time. The storyline. Reluctant uh, smuggler. Charles, listen. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go away for a few days. Will you be safe there? Yeah, we'll be safe. You can see in his eyes how much he cares for Charles. Yeah, I, I was just thinking how much it, it gets me in the feels, how hard he's trying for him. Oh no. No, don't tell me. Damn. That's got to hurt a little. Fuck, dude. The thing is, he wants nothing to do with trouble, but... No, this is his focus. Making some money and making sure that Charles is safe. He's still a good guy. He still cares when somebody comes at him asking for help that desperate, you know? Who's that? Because you were supposed to see shit coming. I can track mutants. I'm a glorified truffle pig. Ah, oh, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> glorified <Okay>. truffle pig. <laughs> Truffle pig, that's so funny. That's why he said that he can smell that he's sick on the inside. Wow, that's so cool. Need to turn around, asshole. This is private property. I believe it belongs to a multinational smelting company based in Shanghai. Oh, he did his research. Yikes. I don't like this guy. Where is he there? That'd be smart. I'd like to meet him. I bet you would, you prick. Say he classifies his brain as a weapon of mass destruction now? Damn. What? Saying what happened back east. It's been dead for a year. What happened back east? You didn't shoot the poor thing, did you? I don't like guns. Of course. I wish you'd call me, Logan. Like I asked. Oh, buddy. Oh. <laughs> You're messing with fire, man. You're not the only one that's been enhanced. Uh -huh. Oh! What the hell? Come, come here. Oh, that's so sweet. He's trying to speak in Spanish oh, for her. No. Looks like ex-military. Yeah. Get him back in his ride, take him out to the wash and dump him. What if he wakes up before I get there? Oh. <laughs> that settles it. <laughs> Jesus. 
Logan. What? I don't. I think the. Look, the bag. Jesus. <laughs> She's like, so gruff. I'll, I'll keep on eating now that I got my bag back. <laughs> This is the mutant that I told you about. Wow. Mutant. Yes, she is. What's her gift, Charles? Eating? Pipe throwing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that pipe I'm throw was pretty good, oh, to yeah. be fair. <laughs> pretty spot on. <gasps> Maybe it's just excellent aim. Help the body. Is there anything else you need? Food for the kids? <gasps> oh. What? Jesus, this guy is resilient, man. It's okay. It's the ultra train choo uh, choo. It's not a choo choo. It's not a choo choo. <laughs> not a choo choo. We gotta go. What? Don't move. Where are we going? Don't worry. He, he will be back for you. Thing is, he he has even more of a responsibility now. Yes. What about the girl? Uh, oh God. Seeing Charles frail like this is heartbreaking, man. Logan, we mustn't forget about Laura. It's not our problem. Damn. He's got his priorities. Yeah. Oh. Damn, <laughs> driving skills with a limo? Yeah. <laughs> At least you can tell he's a good driver, yeah. right? Charles Xavier. Where's Caliban? America's most wanted octogenarian. I'm a nonagenarian, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Told you she's not here. Where's Calamir? Motherfucker. Yeah, he's not playing around, man. You better mm -hmm. start. The same ditch he's gonna leave me in. Ah. 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 Jesus, Wolverine seeing you like this just breaks my damn heart. This was Facts. Your chest fucks <laughs> oh. Ow. You can tell how much of a toll it takes for him now yeah. to do anything as close as what he used to be able to do. Yeah. She's still munching. <laughs> I love this girl. <laughs> She's like, not my circus, not my clowns. He does not care. I love the building of the tension. That guy looks badass. Jesus. He does. <laughs> Big guy. Jesus. That a girl. Hey, baby. What? Wait. Laura. <laughs> what? Laura, honey, you want to stay where you are? Like, you want to chill? We <gasps> want to talk about it? You said alive or dead. Laura. Laura. Oh, we're about to see what. No. Wait, what? Wait, what the <laughs> fuck? Wait. Oh! oh! <laughs> Oh, God. Dude, I fucking love this girl! Wait! That was savage. Were those? She just. Those were claws. <laughs> those were indeed claws. The soundtrack is so good. Wait, how is that possible? Is that his daughter? Or no, actually, because in the second one, we- Oh! I'll finish my train of thought later! Oh, dude. This girl is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. What a takedown. <gasps> oh, my God. She <laughs> She's strong, too, in order to flip she those guys like that. Yeah, Damn. dude. And fast. Oh. <laughs> Ah. Oh my god! Ah. Right through the chest. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> what? Wait, hold on! <laughs> I'm loving her, Dude. her fighting sequence. Her fight style is great. This is so good. She's like a miniature death machine. <gasps> oh. There he is. Love to see that. Dude, it's a fucking massacre. 
You can tell how much more violent he gets when they start to threaten Charles. Yes. Very much like you. Yeah, you can say that again. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yo! <sighs> get in, get in, get in! This is fantastic, man. Laura, are you alright? The action just feels like it has an impact. Yes! It's fast, it's violent, it's brutal, like animalistic. Jesus. Oh. Wait, did you just suck a bullet out of her arm? Yeah. Yo. She took a bullet for him too. She was trying to like shield him a little. Hold on. Ah! Please don't get stuck. Yeah, that thing was stuck there. I know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thing is, they're right on their tail and they're shooting at yeah. them. They, there's no way they can. They need to make more time. Right into the barbed wire. Damn. Ah, he's fine. He's still good. Ugh. <laughs> you were saying? Never, never mind. <laughs> Yo. Ah, oh, they come got on, Come on. Ah. Oh. Okay, one down. <laughs> I love the way this is edited. Yes. Just keeps the energy high. It's so Ooh. tight, dude. Ah. That was close. Good strategy. Oh, it's a long ass train, too. Sit back. So I remember in X Men 2, we saw this other chick. She had the claws, but they came out as fingernails. So. Yes. Damn, so maybe that mutation is not as rare as we thought. Could be. As I thought. Hey, anyway. I asked you a question. Who are you? The beast is what she is. Does she remind you of anybody? Uh, a little. Uh, kind of remind me of that girl I used to know. Her name was Ellie, you know, and she, uh, <laughs> Dude. she was just like you. Badass. Yo, I was just thinking, this reminds me a lot of Joel and Ellie. <laughs> Oh, man. I feel so bad for this guy. Caliban, is it? Yes. He was just trying to help, man. And y'all just left him there, dude. That's so messed up. You were helping round up all those old mutes. What changed? What? I'm gonna need you to do one more thing for the good guys. For the good guys? Get the fuck out of here. I'm not helping you. Beware of the light. Now, let's not bring out the worst in each oh, other. Dude. The girl's not worth it, trust me. She's not a natural fucker. Ah, oh, it's actually burning him. She starts burning immediately, yeah. We need to get her off the board before she hurts anybody else. Someone you care about. Horrible people, man. Just torturing mutants like this. Okay. What I am about to show you is illegal in the US and Canada. She's a whistleblower. Holy shit. These children were born in transigen. They have never seen the sun or the ocean, rain or snow. You're kidding me. They were raised in the bellies of Mexican girls. Girls no one can find anymore. That's dark. Don't think of them as children. Think of them as things with patents and copyrights. Comprende. Jesus Christ, bro. Show a little humanity at least. Oh. Oh. This is business. They are making soldiers. Of course they I are. I was gonna say, growing up like this? Weaponizing them? Oh, yeah. These are babies of mutantes mu- What?! <laughs> Bro! Damn, so they- they did to her what was done to Logan, essentially. Pretty much. She's your daughter, Logan. Alkali has your genetic code. Not just mine. 
Logan, just stop. I have to pee. <laughs> Man has needs, you know. I feel like Logan suspected he just didn't want the I confirmation, mean, right? It's like the verbal. I mean, that was my first thought. She brought up the freaking claws. I'm like. Well. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely chip off the old block. Look at that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> so surly and just like grumpy. The humor is dark too. Yes. Some of it is like it's kind of messed up, but it kind of makes you laugh a little. Poor kid, man. I'm assuming these kids have not been socialized like at all. So she probably is just like, oh, I can have all this for free. <laughs> Fabulous. Love it. You know, you got to pay for that, right? You're like, nope, <laughs> I don't. Hey, where's your mommy and daddy, huh? Come on. You don't want to mess with that. Yeah. <laughs> Too much. Okay. <laughs> Aw, he's parenting already. You sell phone charges. <laughs> he's like, yeah, man, just grab whatever. <laughs> just, take just take it, please. <laughs> yeah, get the cigar. There you go. <laughs> gonna have to uh, teach her what's appropriate and what's not. Okay. Inside this building, they are working on something new, something they think is better than the children. Something they say is without a soul. Jesus, they're Frankensteining this now? About a week ago, they told us to shut our program down. Of course, now the kids are redundant, I assume, right? I am not sure if any other children survived. There is no more money. That was a lie. She is not my child, but I love her. <laughs> you may not love her. She's important. But she is your child. Yeah. Damn, confirmation from everywhere now. Take her to safety. So messed up. Like, you feel responsible even though her being here is yeah. not your fault. He had no. no idea. He literally had no hand in her making. That Loki got me in the feels. Some beautiful shots in this. Yeah. Just seeing the wonder in her eyes. I know. I was just thinking about that. You see her be a child for a second, you know? Clean up, get some new clothes, get a new ride, get out of here. I'm glad that Charles is here to mediate the situation. Because this is his expertise, right? Teaching children how to control their powers. Yeah, exactly. And getting people to open up, essentially. So. Hey, keep it out front, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like looking at the limo like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck happened to this? <laughs> Interesting, because I was going to say, this film gives me a little bit of Western vibes as well. <coughs> oh. <sighs> now, the million dollar question, what happened to him? Thank you. <laughs> It's probably the first time she's ever seen TV in the first place. Yeah. I love the things they did to make this seem even more grounded by having the like the actual comics be yeah. a real thing in this. Oh yeah, Charles, we got ourselves an X-Men fan. You do know they're all bullshit, right? Maybe a quarter of it happened and not like this. Ah, uh, got it. This is ice cream for bedwetters. Logan. The nurse has been feeding you some grade eight bullshit. I don't think Laura needs reminding of life's impermanence. Yeah. Yeah, she needs to look at life in a, in a better way now. Yeah. I don't think she needs to go back to all that darkness. No. Let her see the world. Right and wrong is a brand. The brand sticks. And there aren't any more guns in the valley. The actress has, did an amazing job at feeling like she's um, seeing all of this for the first time. Yeah. And capturing both that ruthlessness that yes. she has, but also the innocence. I was going to say, she did both unbelievably well. It's so impressive, man. You have the keys in it? Sir. Uh, they're already shit. here? Yep. They're fast. Yeah, they're on it, man. Oh shit, you already know. You already know. Oh. Ooh. Charles. Yeah, and the humans are frozen in place, right? Similar to the previous films where he used to freeze yeah. time, but it feels like it's a bit more unstable than that, and it actually causes pain. Oh, 
Come on, come on. Damn, you can see just how hard yeah. it is to just move. The visual language, too. Oh. It's like a uh, force almost. Yeah. Like a magnet that's just repelling. Oh shit. Sucks to be you, buddy. He actually bought them some time. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Ouch. Dude, this, this sequence is so good. Oh, through the face. Oh my God. Come on. They don't shy away from showing you everything. I yeah. love, I love that. The story feels so much more liberated. The characters too, because of the rated R. <sighs> yeah, he took care of everybody first. Oh. <sighs> Wow. The tension. The music. Oh. <laughs> you missed one. <laughs> Can we talk? She has a gentle heart. Can we talk about how this puts into context just how powerful Charles actually is? Here you can see when it's like let loose just yeah. how much damage he could have always been able to do. He just yeah. chose not to. And the crazy oh. that breaks my heart man. i know man the crazy part is also the radius right the blast radius shall we call it well how they did call him a weapon of mass destruction now you see why true damn he is though because it affects even humans this way where at least 400 guests were stricken with temporary paralysis yesterday many are noting a similarity to the westchester incident over a year ago that left over 600 injured and took the lives of seven mutants including several of the I'll get off. Wait. In point of fact, she's How your... long has it been since you took your meds? Tell me, how long has it been? I don't know. Should have taken the man. Jesus, Charles. I guess you prefer me pharmaceutically castrated, rambling on like a lunatic. So much easier for you. Easier, Jesus. I get both nah. perspectives, though. Yeah. He also wants to be himself for once. Yeah, of course. Take out two pills and give them to him. Logan, Logan. Give them to him. Now. That's terrible. He has these moments of lucidity and then he goes yeah. back to. <laughs> seeing Charles like this, first of all, he's sassier, right? You seeing him curse, you see him. He's not so cool and collected the way so we always proper. do. Yeah, so proper and it's amazing to see him like this. I mean, when he's lucid, obviously, but when he's not, then that's devastating. Oh, those trucks are... Dri oh. Driverless, yeah. Language, Logan. Well, she can gut a man with a feet, she can't hear a few naughty words. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Foot claws are the obvious result of her gender, you know. Is that a fact? Oh. oh. She uses her front claws for hunting and the back claws defensive. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Ah, I like how they even explain that. That's super cool. That's awesome. Hey, hey. What the fuck? Uh, oh. Okay. What the hell? Uh. Jesus, man. And they can't even relax for a single second, man. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh no, not the horsey. No, we have to keep going. Someone will come along. Someone has to come along. You can see Charles and always in that mission of helping others. Yeah. Just hits you in the feels, man. I know. <laughs> I thought it was just me. <laughs> wow. That's your daughter? Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's Laura. And that's my dad, Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck and Laura. <laughs> Three of you to a decent meal? 
We don't live far from here. Uh, no. That Thanks. would be lovely. <laughs> he's like, I need a good meal, yes. man. This has been a rough journey. Listen, he saw an opportunity and he took it, and I don't blame him. But you can call me Zond if you like. My colleague tells me you've been somewhat resistant. He's the... He's in Loki. He is Loki. Recognize the actor? Yes. The Reavers were very ineffective. I'm bringing new tools to bear. I, I still need someone to point us in the right direction. No, I can't help you. Breathe. He's playing good cop now after they abused him like mm -hmm. that? Alzheimer's, ALS, a degenerative brain disease in the world's most dangerous brain. What a yeah. combo. Yeah, it's not really a combo you want to hear mm. when it comes to that amount of power. Not when your powers are psychic, no. It's a very interesting concept, right? Yeah. Very unique. That's like, I never so even thought of that. What would happen to Charles I if know. he had that? It's such, a, it's such a simple question, right? That you would ask yourself, but... <laughs> so I gotta teach her manners. <gasps> he doesn't get out. Look at that. That's a meal. <laughs> I love the whole fish out of water element in this because it adds that comedy that's very much needed. Yes. But it makes sense, you know. The Lord will provide. I'm still waiting for the Lord to provide me with a new thresher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's funny. And I bet you will. I could drop out of school. Okay, let's not go that far. <laughs> he was ready. He's like, I can quit yes. school, you know. You want more extra help? I got you. Um, Careful, you're speaking to a uh, man who ran a school for a lot of years, right, Charles? It was a kind of special need school. Um, yeah, you mm -hmm. could say that. Yes, it is a good description. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I got kicked out a few times. <laughs> I wish I could say you were a good pupil, but the words would choke me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. <laughs> they deserve it, you know? Some happiness, a good meal, feel like a family, you know? Just pretend to be normal. Yeah. It's great seeing them share that little moment of relief, you know? Yeah, they what they've been through. We have a perfectly fine room upstairs for your father and your daughter, and you can sleep in the mm -hmm. living room on the converter. Catherine, it's very, very nice of you, but we, well, we should go. We, should. we can leave early in the morning, break of dawn, as it were. They're tired, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we uh, wash up, Pop? Okay. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Stay. Forcefully, like... <laughs> Two days on the road, only one meal and hardly any sleep. She's 11, I'm fucking 19. I'm not a box of avocados, though. Then. <laughs> then we take her to her friends in Eden, and then we buy the Sun Seeker. That's so sweet that he cares so much yeah. about her. The pump station has supplies. This is a mile and a half from here. Just, uh, let me get my dad settled. <laughs> All right. Get a glimpse in their life as well. Yeah. How they live over there. You know, Logan, this is what life looks like. You should take a moment and feel it. <sighs> you can't. That hits, man. Yeah. Eden, it's not real. It is for Laura. It is for Laura. But what are you going to do when you get there and it's not there? Like, being hopeful is good, but... Yeah, you still actually need a location, right? To keep her safe. Right. <laughs> a couple of months ago, somebody poisoned our dogs. What? So out on the highway today with those trucks. Uh, who knows? Maybe. Oh, wow. Oh. You like it? Um, mm. Well, here. You can take it for the night. Mm. What a sweet kid. What a sweet family, wow. Yeah, they were beyond generous. Shit. Mm. Oh. Okay. Stay here. Logan is like, of course. <laughs> Mr. Monson, you understand you're trespassing right now, right? Who's this? It's the guy telling you to get back in your nice truck. Go play Oki Dickhead somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Oki Dickhead. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Looks like Mr. Monson hires some muscle. He's a friend of mine. Friend with a big mouth. I hear that a lot. <laughs> More than I'd like. <laughs> yeah. Actually, though. And you're going to start walking away. I got rights to this one. One. I have a lawyer now. Two. Oh! oh. You all right, boss? He finished it for you. <gasps> Yo! Goddamn, yeah. Get the hell out of here. Fuck off. So satisfying. 
Oh, that was so good. Dude, look at him. He's a freaking beast. Dude. It's a tank. A man like this steps out with his muscles and scars and tells me to get back in my truck. I will get back in my truck. Damn, you just snapped that shit, bro. Some training. <laughs> this is so good, man. This was, without a doubt, the most perfect night I've had in a very long time. Mm. But I don't deserve it. Oh, come on. I did something. I remembered what happened in Westchester. So it was him. Yeah, unfortunately. Until today, I didn't know you wouldn't tell me. That is rough. I think I finally understand you. The love and... What the oh. fuck? Oh. What the fuck is this? Oh. Holy shit. No. No. Oh. He's fantastic. Nate? What the hell is this? God. What the f- oh. Dude. Charles! He's not gonna believe it. Elvis, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <sighs> that it wasn't me just absolutely, it's like a dagger. Yeah. But you can't nurture rage. You must simply design it from scratch. So they designed their own Wolverine. Yeah. Will Martin! <laughs> Guys, this was not Perfect. the right time to yeah. come here. There's that asshole. Oh, asshole. Yeah. Listen, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Are you now, huh? I'm the law out here. No, 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 no. It's animalistic, right? What? Nah. Yeah. Oh! Oh, shit. Yo. Shoot him! <gasps> we need to be clean. Well, he only listens to you, Doc. Yeah, that was not part of the plan, was it? No. Our boat. What? The sun seeker. Yeah, yeah, he's about to yeah. fuck them up. But how is he gonna fuck this guy up, dude? Um, that truck can flank them farmers. Follow my lead. Bring extra ammo. Take Bet you weren't expecting to get this emotional <laughs> no, watching a comic the movie. He could have warned me. I need a tissue. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Beware the light. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he was done being a tool for all of this. <sighs> How? This could never work. <sighs> what the hell are you? It's a lot of claws, man. <sighs> Thing is, it's like the younger version of him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh! 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 Who the hell was that? <gasps> no way! They must be so confused. That entire sequence was almost nightmarish. Yes. 
what is happening and you don't have time to process it. It all happened so fast, dude. What the hell? The, the family was slaughtered. Charles just died. Caliban just died. And the contrast from the scene that just came before that, which was yeah, so lighthearted and happy, is like a whiplash. Yeah, he knows that he can't stick around and fight. No. Hold still. Ugh. The things that she's had to, she's had to see already. No child should go through all that. No. Also, the score of this is absolutely incredible. It gets emotional when it has to be, and then but when it, when it's tense, it's so yeah. haunting. Just breathe. This will help you heal. Wow, I'm. Honestly, in shock at how good this is. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. It's grounded, but in a good way. Like, once you start watching the movie, it makes sense yeah. when you have the context. It's got water. It's got water. <sighs> he can't even speak, man. It's just heartbroken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely get that feeling. Like, you're so hurt. Yeah. And it came out of fucking nowhere, dude. So close to finding a solution. Uh, fuck! He's just not having a good time. The performance in that was incredible. It's just so honest. It's effective. You know, they yeah. don't play it over the top. It's not overly emotional. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you're dealing with grief like that, you know, it, it does, like, take your breath away, right? You don't really know what to say. Comes in waves, too. Yeah. You can be fine with second, and then the, yeah. the next year. And it crushes you the next. Man. <laughs> Loro's probably, so that's where I get it from. <laughs> <laughs> All that anger. Got it. It's funny. I am. Uh... I'd always hoped that I'd get the chance. <sighs> There's so few of you left. Please don't be a psycho. I, I mean, I, I, know that, I know that you're different, but that doesn't change the fact that something inside you is poisoning you. I know what it is. Yeah, he's just worried that anybody that is involved is going to get sucked into yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. After what they just got went through, like, yeah. it makes sense. Wait, how did they get here, now that I think about it? Just take shit down. She, <laughs> she basically- She drove them here and yeah. she stole that car that she was looking at earlier? I'm dead, yo. Oh, like daddy, like daughter. I don't know how you got me here, but uh, thank you. De nada. Yeah. She speaks. <laughs> you can talk? <laughs> <laughs> How do you want me to talk to you if you don't stop insulting me and screaming at me? <laughs> Mira. Mira, I've seen no. it. I've, this all here, si. none of this. No, si. no existo, okay? <laughs> no existo. <laughs> I am not taking you to North Dakota. I am fucked up. It is a two-day drive, and I am not taking you. Oh! Fucking oh, hit no. me! Don't hit me! <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, he's like, fine, I'll prove it to you. Yeah. Man, his healing factor is messed up. Messed the hell up. What is poisoning him, though? He said he knows what it is. <sighs> of course. Of course they wouldn't catch a break. Now they know exactly where they're heading. Just quit looking at me. No comprende. You're dying? Yeah. You are dying. You want to die. Charles told me. Mm. Damn. Even Charles knew. Yeah, he's out of it. He needs a break. Yeah. <laughs> I love the chemistry these two yeah. have. Imagine how 
exhausted you must be to just fall asleep like that. I mean, he's been on that level, yeah. right, of tension and that that constant yeah. pressure of running away. And all the crap that he's been through. Trying to keep both her and Charles safe. Yeah. Plus the loss, that also takes a toll, you know, like... She just knows how to drive. This is amazing. I love this girl. She is great. I loved in the in the argument scene how similar their natures are, right? It's that animal within them. Yeah. Just always ready to burst forth. It's it's incredible. Don't pass it. Yeah. Holy crap. Look at all of that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. Holy sh They all rendezvoused here. Yeah. Not so much less. <laughs> we know. Iceman Jr. Yeah. <laughs> You had a nightmare. He's got those often. Mm -hmm. It's made out of adamantium. That's what they buy inside of us. Mm -hmm. Probably what's killing me now. There it is. Oh, dude. I was thinking of shooting myself. Uh, like Charles said. Yeah. It's great to see him open up. Yeah, that was... So it's the adamantium poisoning that's causing all of this. The poisoning, the adamantium poisoning, is that related to that experiment that they did in that Wolverine movie? The previous one? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like when they extracted the yeah. adamantium from him or if it's just poisoning from having it throughout all these years. Oh, good question. Yeah. That's my only doubt, but yeah. it, for sure it has it's adamantium related. In my head... He had it for so long. Right, and nothing really happened until yeah. now. <laughs> Maybe the whole extraction process mm. made it Jump. leak into it, you know, yeah. spread through his blood, and that was the problem, right? Because it was injected yeah. into his bones. It was never in his right. bloodstream. Same coordinates? Yes, between noon and five, satellites are blind then. Your asylum approved. Got it. Wow. Wow, okay. They actually so got a plan here. Inside. Such resourceful kids, man. Survivors. Yeah. She was lucky to have you. Take it. She says it's yours. It's why you did it, right? Look, I don't need it. You do. Okay? Oh, It's not even gonna take the money. Doesn't matter anymore. No. <laughs> Very... Just perfect uh -oh. little moments in the yeah. facial expressions. Hey, hey, what's going on? Huh? You're with your pals. You made it. Where will you go? You're his bar for starters. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest. There you go. Even hey, gave back the money. Such a nice man. And it is better this way because I suck at this. <laughs> like he's angry more at the mm -hmm. situation than. That happens to people I care about. Mm. You understand me? Yeah. Then I'll right. be fine. No. Oh. He does care. Just every time he cares for someone, man, shit happens. That scene, I halfway, I thought that he was gonna be like, we're treading on some mighty thin ass there, <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> man, and you can see all the trauma that he's carrying, man. Like yeah. first Gene, you know, the shit that happened with his brother. Yeah. See, you see weighing. Now Charles and, the, yeah. and Cal like Caliban, he clearly Content. cares, you know, for her. It's just... He, it's hard to open himself up, especially knowing that really everyone that he has cared for is gone now. It's not his fault by any means. They got the whole convoy. These people are so damn persistent, man. Oh, these poor kids. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
Oh wait, isn't that too much? Damn. Put the entire thing right into his bloodstream. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo! Now you know what Bobby's powers capable of in R-rated would have been would have looked like. R-rated Iceman would have been sick. Oh man. R-rated everyone would have been sick. Ooh, that's so cool. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you deserve that. Ooh. Holy shit! Yes! 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 <laughs> yes, make them pay. Fuck these guys. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Yo. Shredding. Oh, what a continuous <laughs> shot, dude. Yeah. That's his move. You just feel the power. Oh, like, dude. That's Wolverine. That's Wolverine. Oh, that was so sick. Right? That was such a good scene. <laughs> oh. What the hell is that? Good luck with that. <laughs> Ooh. I love this. <laughs> Best <laughs> team up ever. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. You took all the medicine. It's wearing off. Damn, that's quick. It wore off so fast, though. I wonder if it wears off based on the amount of damage you take. Or mm. just the amount of the duration of the effect, I guess. I wonder if it's his metabolism. It burns through it quicker. Oh, probably Maybe. it's that, actually, yeah. You can see the effects of the serum are wearing off. You will not survive further wounds. They're lucky he's in this state right now. Yeah. I believe you knew my father on the Weapon X program. He's the asshole. Put this poison in me. Oh. Oh, shit. I think I might have killed him. I, th I think you're right. Striker? Striker's kid? Or just someone related to the Weapon X program? I'm assuming just related. I realized He's we need to sick. stop perfecting what we eat and drink, that we could use those products to distribute gene therapy discreetly through everything. Oh. And embarked on our next endeavor. Yeah. Growing mutants of your own. Precisely. It's dangerous times, James. You can't. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, he didn't oh. give a shit. Stop him! Yo! Yeah. Enough talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. They got what they deserve. Yeah! Good job, kiddo. Storm's powers? Or just I electrical? Think, or just electrical, maybe? I don't know. Showtime, boy! No! Oh. Bro. You gotta be kidding me! Of course they brought this fucker along. No! Ah. Jeez. It's also a great way to compare how strong yeah. Logan was once was. At his peak. Get up, boy! Oh, you can see he's high on that green. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. oh, he's gonna no. snap her in half. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Right, she has her, ah. her other claws. Ah. What the hell? <laughs> you <sighs> asshole. I hate this guy so much. Oh! <laughs> nice. Damn, she's ferocious. Dude, she's... Ah, damn. Oh, oh all of them. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. It's a perfect way to send him off. Everybody got their payback. Yeah. Oh. Good job. Oh, crap. Oh. Ooh. 
Nice. Also, Magneto or Jean's kid? <laughs> Which one? Go! Get out of here, go! He's fucking persistent, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's literally Wolverine. Yeah, I and know. way younger. This guy's... Go, go, go! It went right through him. You don't be what they made you. <sighs> that just hurts, man. I apologize for putting you through this. <laughs> Let me just say that. <laughs> man, what a moment. A man has to be what he is, Joey. There's no going back. Right or wrong, it's a brand. Oh, it's that movie scene. Yeah, she remembered the lines. You tell her everything's all right. There are no more guns in the valley. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he has a little Wolverine in his hand. They're finally free after all that fight. Yeah. I mean, if he was going to die, that'd be for a worthy cause, you know? Like this. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. I could have used a little warning, you know? <laughs> Jesus, nah. man. I loved the story that they came up with for Logan. This feels like the ending that makes sense. I feel like... You know, for the longest time, I feel like he's carried so much guilt, survivor's guilt as well. He's watched a lot of people that he cares about come and go over the, over however many years he's been Centuries. alive at this point, right? <laughs> at this point, at least a hundred something years, maybe. Yeah. Having him be the one to help these mutant kids basically arrive at this haven, right? Eden. It felt like the most appropriate and most poetic way to let him go. I think the physical finally matched the emotional. I think the way we saw him all worn down because he was always like a grumpy Gus. He was always very sassy and whatnot. But as the more people he lost, you know, you could see that wearing him down after all of the things that he's gone through. So I love that this was the choice that they made, man. Having like a road trip with a, well, in his case, it's not even like an adoptive child, right? It is actually his child. And exploring the relationships between father and daughter, but also how Charles has been a pseudo father to Logan all this time. And that has become more clear, right? And it was a beautiful story. And I'm, I'm so surprised that this is the route that they took. And I'm really taken aback by, how emotionally it struck me it's so well crafted beautifully shot the score is absolutely beautiful marco beltrami killed it the way he always does that little girl though man she's incredible holy crap she is great she's a tiny human of just talent like <laughs> holy crap well i'm just happy that we did it guys i'm happy that it. you know she finally got to watch this <laughs> they're <and> happy tears <laughs> you know yeah with all the things that we've been watching recently and um 
how much you've been enjoying some of the characters, like the exploration and, and stories that delve deeper into the psyche of characters that we've known and Absolutely. that recontextualize certain relationships. I'm like, I have a feeling this is going to be both something you really enjoy and something that surprises you. There's a lot of moments here that I did not remember, which was nice. They yeah. kind of, you know, getting that reminder because, you know, it's a lot of they don't really take their time explaining a lot of exposition. Mm -hmm. They kind of just drop a line or two and you have to keep up because it's more focused on the journey of, you know, Logan, Charles and Laura. So I, I completely understood that. That, but seeing it a second time really does allow you to catch a few things that that's very easy to miss. I love what you said about Logan and in the way that you said it, that, you know, the exterior is finally matching the interior <laughs> because it's true. He's gone through so much, like you stated. Yeah. It looks like the years and all of that, you know, the damage that he tanked throughout the decades, it's finally all catching up to him. Mm -hmm. Right. And you fear for him in this movie, man. You feel yeah. bad. You feel mm -hmm. worried. And you're like, this is where's my Wolverine, man. He, he used to be this killing <laughs> yeah. machine, this unstoppable uh -huh. force and oh, I just love how they made him so humane like don't get me wrong he's still fucking Wolverine right? <laughs> <laughs> that very much is clear but you know, when you see that others can hurt him back, there's a bit more of a higher stake in this. And that feeling of uh, pressure and tension is there throughout the entire film. And I thought seeing Logan actually fear for his own safety, fear for others, which he's been doing his entire life, right? But having that sense of, damn, am I going to be able to protect them if it, if it goes down to, you know, hand to hand? I thought it was such a great story to tell. And then what a perfect way to, you know, tie all those themes up then to come up with a version of himself that is both young better in every single way physically but it has no humanity and it's so interesting because we see the same skill sets in three different people actually we see it in laura we see it in our wolverine and then the experiment right and it's so interesting to see you know like laura using her powers it's she, she's very young and very inex inexperienced to can tell so she's still very animalistic but it, it's a bit more chaotic it's more frantic whereas at this point like logan has already figured out the moves that work that yeah. are t2 is very animalistic but there is an efficiency to his attacks he already and knows. With her, like, I'm just gonna just... jump towards the guy and just <laughs> stick my fist out and that tends to work that tends to you it know, does you know you just gotta done. human sheesh that's it always works <laughs> I'm dead exactly I love how the the rated R just my god it was such a correct choice finally I felt so I felt almost like a sense of relief because I feel like we finally got to know these people like all the way it's it's the way they cuss it's the way they talk even seeing charles not being so prim and proper coming towards the end of his lifespan he knows it he's had a really really rough time especially with whatever mental degenerative disorder he has i remember they said either alzheimer's or als yeah they never specify but it's clear that it's taking a toll on him <laughs> yes and it's only gonna get worse from here exactly so whatever is happening it's corroding his mental state and for someone that's psychic we talked about this in the commentary as well it's so creative that they came up with that it's perfect because as Charles is degenerating, so was Logan. And they're both just trying to make it to that boat. Yeah. Just all of the choices that they've made, also the violence, it worked. It, it And I didn't know that this was what I needed when it comes to Logan. And it's so funny because this movie did such a great job at recontextualizing the powers of these mutants, uh, both for Charles and for Wolverine. We actually once again got to see just how powerful Charles is. Yeah. Him being able to connect to another mutant, Laura, despite that thing that's supposed to work as a cocoon, I guess, right? To shield others from his powers yeah. or at least limit the range of it. It was amazing to see that. And then like the whole hotel sequence, dude, when he starts having <sighs> a seizure, the soldiers are there. And it's funny because I cracked a joke about the last stand, but when I saw Logan crawl his way through <laughs> the hall, yeah. I was like, dude, this is deja vu. Cause like he, it was the same situation with, uh, with Gene. Gene Gray slash dark phoenix when she was just decimating everyone around her turning them into dust and he was the only one that could do what needed to be done which is a horrible horrible weight that he had to carry and it was like say what you will about the movie but that moment was just absolutely devastating and it was it felt like such a funny callback in that moment where i'm like oh shit again he's the only one that can take it and it was really cool because laura also was had some yeah, resistance they and you both could got see that. that i was like oh Cool. They both got that healing factor, right? And yeah, that sequence is incredibly well done. Like the way they shoot it and the way that, because it's an invisible force, but everybody there, they're selling the amount of energy, you know, the amount of just 
sheer blast that they're taking. Like, they don't really quite uh, explain how it works, but I'm assuming it's like, because Charles is having seizures, the power that he normally has to like affect everybody and just pause them is kind of malfunctioning to the point that it feels like constant pressure. Like people have died from this. Yeah. So at some point, <sighs> I'm, ass I'm, I'm assuming that that intensity just mm -hmm. keeps going higher and higher to the point that people just perish. Because, you know, I remember when I saw this, one of the most messed up reveals is that Westchester, what, yeah. what he did, and he ended up killing a bunch of the X-Men as well. All of the X-Men pretty yeah. much because Westchester, right? So they're all yeah. living there, which is such a freaking tragic way. How many mutants? And the thing is all under, you know, his responsibility, right? As, as Professor X, right? The guy that brought them here, yeah. headmaster of that school. And it's just such a hard, like they really, man, they, it was like the writers were like, how can we break everybody's hearts? <laughs> And just keep driving the point. Whereas a lot of stories feel like it's almost gratuitous in a way, where it's like just pain yeah. for the sake of pain mm -hmm. and making a terrible story for the sake of having a terrible story and hurting, right, the fan base or whatever. This one felt like it was coming from a place, yes, it's gonna be very tragic, but it's gonna make it's gonna make sense because there's no other way that Charles would quit doing what he loves, which is saving mutants and yeah. keeping them safe and, and teaching them how to use their powers and teaching them how to adapt and, and giving them him an opportunity to have a normal life even after all of these events you still see him even in this state his ultimate goal is to keep laura safe man and it's just like uh, it's both heart-wrenching and heartwarming at the same time and the fact that he didn't know he didn't really know up until the end it came and it went such a good job at showing that mental degenerative disorder in such an honest way and then it finally clicks there towards the end when it got to the moment where the fake wolverine <laughs> showed up in his bedroom and stabbed charles my immediate thought was like oh my this cannot be the last thing that he sees logan stabbing him i'm like it was not logan i need Need him to know that before he goes that that was my only thing which is very funny because in the beginning he mentions that he says to logan and where he's like well i always know who you are it's just sometimes i don't recognize you and now i realize that in a way it was foreshadowing which is so messed up like there's so many beautiful moments in this it's so impressive what they've done you know when i first saw the trailer this is you were so right the trailer absolutely does not do this justice at all it doesn't encapsulate half of the the emotion but also the grit and how we got to see so many more shades of these characters and another thing that i thought was cool is that we towards the end when he took the green uh, <laughs> serum yeah. We, we got it. We got that Wolverine moment that like that we all love him just dashing through the woods and slicing people up left and right. His iconic scream just echoing through the trees. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> what a great moment. Was, yeah. They gave us Wolverine one last, last time. time. <laughs> it's like, you know, we know that you've been waiting for it and you know that you've been rooting for him. And man, he's been swimming against the current here on this one and really trying to just survive. But once he gets that little boost of energy, like, you know, it's it's short, but it's impactful. Like, yeah, when you see him, you're like, ah, there he is. He still got it, you know. <laughs> so there's a few things here that I wanted to point out. In the yeah. previous movie, there is this um, mutant and her mm -hmm. name is Yukio. And I don't know if you remember, there's a moment where they're in the car. She basically, her powers is like she can see, like she has premonitions of people dying. Yes, yes. Premonition girl. Yes. So she goes on to say, like in that movie, you already, you're already dealing with the whole mortality of Logan in that film mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. where he gets the choice, right? If you want to die, I can help you, right? <laughs> I can finally give you that mm -hmm. gift. Well, she goes on to say, I've seen your death and I see you on your back. Uh, there's blood everywhere and you're holding your heart in your hand. At the time, I took that literally. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, he does. That's yeah. exactly how he, he goes. Was, he was holding his heart in his hand. We just took it literally. Yeah. Wow. Jesus, man. man. This shit is poetic, dude. See, this is what I'm talking about. Anyone that says, oh, like superhero movies, it's not cinema. It's like, what is this then? This is the type of art that actually it means something and it makes you feel something. This was such a joy. This was so much better than I ever could have anticipated, to be very honest with you. And like I mentioned, <laughs> yeah, I know you did it. You, did it. you were right. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we finally got around to do this. You know, finally you got to show me a movie, you know, yeah. that's freaking awesome. This is the shit that gets me super inspired, you know? Well, that is great to hear. I'm <laughs> so happy that you enjoyed it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this with us. We hope that you enjoy and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.